This is Dr. Lou Sella, Doctor of Sport and Performance Psychology. I'm coming to you live from the second least populated county in Pennsylvania. It's, this is Sullivan County and this is Lake Jean. I've made videos from here before. Actually, you can see the leaves turning here, in, right here in uh, Northeast Pennsylvania. This is definitely a place I like to come because it's quiet and a uh, very, very peaceful place. And there's the lake, Lake Jean, I come here. I spend time here, just saw some fish before. Don't see any right now, but it is what it is. Okay, so let's talk about football. All right, so during the week, how many plays do you gotta run in a week? Here's what I'm gonna tell you. First of all, when you prep for practice, you're focused on getting, once you get to the season, you're focused on getting about 150 plays a week with your first offense and 150 plays a week with your second offense. So you're looking to get about 300 plays a week during the season. You want to do it over a three-day period. You're better off doing it over a two-day period than a four-day period because too many high school coaches wear their players out because they think more practice is better, and that's not true. Better practice is better. The average high school football game, you're going to run 48 plays in a game. Okay, so if you're going to run 48 plays in a game, you're basically trying to practice the game times three once you get to the season. Because at this point, it's really about getting to the next level with the timing and the choreography of everything. And really, your focus is if you have a Friday game, you want to reset on Tuesday and basically get the alignment and the assignments going again with, with maybe one to three technical emphasis points for each assignment. Then what you want to do is Wednesday and Thursday, it's you just want to go fast, get reps, practice the game, get zone dive going, get mid triple going, trap toss and the passing game going. You got your five smooth stones ready to go so you can beat your opponent. But really, you're, you're going to try to get about 300 reps a week. If you have three offenses, you're going to go about 450 reps a week. But you don't really want your first offense to run more than 50 plays a day three times a week. And basically, the same thing with your second offense. But utilizing Paul Johnson's bullets drill, which if you want to know how to do that, you can look up endless videos on this YouTube channel that will show you how to do that. But what you want to do is get 50 plays a day with your first offense, 50 plays a day with your second offense. If you're blessed to have a third offense, do the same thing. Your energy has to be spent on making sure that you have seven people holding shields at practice. I always prefer the adults to do that because you're going to solve a lot of problems that way. And I'm going to tell you right now, most of the time, especially at small schools, you're going to get better resistance when the adults are holding the shields instead of the players. A lot of the players are in survival mode doing it. So I would make the coaches do it. You know, if I had to be an assistant coach, I would do it myself. But, you know, it's, look, the bottom line is this. You want to get about 150 plays in a week with your first offense, 150 plays a week in with your second offense. You want to run zone dive, mid-triple, trap toss, and throwing the ball. Those are your five smooth stones to beat Goliath. Ultimately, you got to get the zone dive going. If you don't get the zone dive going, it's going to be hard to win, maybe impossible to win. So that's your focus every single week. The goal is 150. You want to do it over three days. Hey, listen, I'd rather you, if you had to do it in two days, you have, let's say you have a day where you get rained out and you can't get the gym, you can't get an indoor facility, have a plan to go, you know, two over a two day period and get 75 reps in two days. So that's the kind of mentality I want you to have because speeding quantity trump quality and the bottom line is just make the kids run plays. I was having a conversation with one of my, he was my, one of my first ever clients and we've talked about it over the years about what he's learned and Basically, he said, he goes, right now, it's really just about kids running plays. They get a line. They do their job. They know maybe one, two, three things about their task. And you got to just let them do it. What you say doesn't matter. Like, you can pretend that you're coaching them up, coaching them up, coaching them up, but it really doesn't matter because what really matters is they're getting the reps, the speed and quantity. They're getting the reps because they can figure out what to do faster than you think they know what to do. So... 150, that's the magic number for the week. 
All right, I'm going to get out of here, take a look at Lake Jean. Beautiful place. If you look at it further on a map, I'm at Ricketts Glen State Park in Sullivan County. The, this state park actually is in Sullivan in Luzerne County. I'm a resident of Luzerne County, but this is in Sullivan County, the second least populated county in Pennsylvania, the most... Uh, for the it's the size and the population, it is the most the least. I'm trying to remember how it works. Is it most dense or least dense? But there's less people here per size of the county than anywhere else in the 67 counties in Pennsylvania. It's definitely beautiful here. Like if you want to get away from from the world and spend time with God, this is the place to do it. Or if you want to meditate on the triple option, a great place to do it as well. So there you go. If you're ready to become a client, give me a call. 570-332-0265. 570-332-0265. And we'll talk soon.